Today on Animal Fact Files, we'll be talking about plecos. For more facts on your favorite animals, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Plecos were suggested by a friend of the show who has a soft spot for fancy fishes. Thank you for the suggestion. The name pleco can be attributed to many different fish species, so for simplicity's sake, we're going to be discussing the family of fish called Lorichariidae, otherwise known as armored suckermouth catfish, or, you know, plecos. While it may seem like the plecos you see in the pet store are all the same, in reality, Lorichariidae is the largest family of catfish, boasting more than 600 species. Usually, plecos are easily identified by their strange, somewhat flattened body shape and wacky lips. Their bodies are made up of bony plates and they typically have large dorsal fins, or the fins along their back. Their lips function as suction cups for their faces, keeping them close to their favorite food sources while they eat. They consume algae as well as invertebrates and plants, along with just about anything else as they are opportunistic eaters. Some people go so far as to call them janitor fish. Judging by pet store shelves, it might seem like plecos would fit easily in a small 10-gallon tank, but don't let this fool you. Some species can reach nearly 40 inches in length, which is about as long as the tallest dog ever recorded was tall. Still, this is relatively rare, and they're usually closer to 20 inches at full size. Of course, that's still pretty big. This can actually be a bad thing when these fish are released where they shouldn't be. See, being such a ubiquitous pet species, plecos are a pretty commonly owned fish. Thing is, most of them are only natively found in South America, so when a large enough quantity of them are released and are able to begin reproducing in non-native habitats, they can cause damage to ecosystems. By consuming food that otherwise wouldn't be eaten so quickly, or by competing with native species for diet resources, they can really mess up the food chain in some environments. They can also cause erosion with their nests. When plecos are ready to mate, they will either find natural, cave-like structures under logs or rocks, or they will construct nests in the banks of their habitat. They can live in just about any freshwater environment, so streams, lakes, rivers, and ponds are all at risk for their destructive tunneling behavior. Yes, tunneling. Plecos will create a network of tunnels in which to lay their eggs, of which there may be 500 or more depending on the species. Even though the babies take less than a week to hatch, all that uprooting of sediment can cause erosion of water banks. So if you ever own a pleco and you find yourself unable to care for it, I mean, they can live more than 10 years in captivity, so they're a pretty long-term investment. The worst thing you can do would be to release it into your local waterways. It can really hurt the environment as described, but in reality it can also hurt the fish. Since they live in warmer regions of South America, they're not used to cold weather, and they'll perish under conditions that are too frigid. The best thing you can do is to try to bring it back to the pet store, or see if you can donate it to a local museum, college, or other organization. Of course, plecos are quite beautiful creatures, and it makes sense that we've brought them into our homes. They have striking features that make them stand out from other fish in our home aquariums, and they also serve the purpose of cleaning up after others. They're relatively friendly towards other fish, though prospective owners need to remember how large these fish can get. You should be able to recognize a pleco in a pet store by their dark color with speckles. Or, you know, the placard that says you're looking at a pleco. Really though, different species come in different colors, and the ones typically kept in pet stores are specifically the species Hypostomus plecostomus. Jeez, try saying that ten times fast. Have you ever kept a pet pleco? For more facts on plecos, be sure to read through the links in the description. Tell us what kind of animal you'd like to learn about in the comments. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more Animal Fact Files.